Meet Swampletics, my Mauritania locked ultimate Iron Man. Since December of 2018, I've been living strictly in Mauritania. I'm an ultimate Iron Man account, which means I can't use banks and I can't trade other players. This is my story. I'm going to be taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. We have got some work to do, my friends. We still have six more hunter levels to go, and my inventory is completely cluttered. Uh, we have runes to use, we have ranging equipment to use. I'm gonna get rid of all that, but real quickly, um, I think the best way to handle this situation is to do a quick Barrows run to get the blood pumping. Six brothers down, let's see what we get. That is a lot of chaos runes. All right, let's 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 go get some magic XP. Let's clear some inventory space. Got 35,000 magic XP from using all those runes. The uh, slow grind to 79 for entangles continues. We'll be using those in the theater. And uh, I'm gonna use these knives now. Uh, should actually get a really decent amount of XP from all these. 35K from 72 range and our inventory is looking most spotless. Uh, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna be using the Ecto Funtis on all my bones, and I should actually be getting a few prayer levels from this. Hey, the big 50. Very nice, man. And 51 prayer. 52 prayer. This is kind of big, but I guess only aesthetically speaking, because I will not be using Smite on this account, but that is every usable prayer unlocked. And with that, we are only 2k away from 53. Our inventory is looking spotless. Here's what's happening, my dear audience. We are a measly six levels away from unlocking all of our hopes and dreams. Today we resume our hunter grind. I've invested about 120 hours into it so far, catching swamp lizards, and uh, that means we only have about 80 hours left until 99 hunter. 684k until 94 hunter right now. Every level's like climbing a mountain at this point. Let's do this. Was uh, very slow getting this level, but uh, there's 94 Hunter. On to 95, day 17. As we take down this trap, we'll be hitting 95 Hunter. Oh, it's so close, man. Four levels to go until we track down RuneScape's rarest implant. God damn, it's so exciting. Thrilling, man. It's thrilling. Ooh, 1 million XP until the next level. 96 Hunter, baby. Very cool. Very, very cool. I got this level entirely off lamps and books, which is super nice because herb lord training on this account is pretty dreadful. I'm not going to lie to you, about 2 to 3k XP an hour, so it's an entire level I don't have to do. Very nice. 44 herb lord. <music> 97 hunter. Very nice. I can already hear everyone that's watching this video right now. Shadow, no, please. Don't stop catching lizards, man. We love this content, please. Don't stop, man. All right, let's pick this one up. 15 something hours later, 98 Hunter. Oh, one level to go, man. One level to go until everything changes. 1.2 mil XP to go. Let's finish this up, shall we? you know what they say, all good things must come to an end. And today's end is a poetic one. We started this journey nearly eight months ago now with a lamp, and today we end it with one. Whew, all right, 200 hours later, the very first 99 on the account. There we go, baby. 99 Hunter achieved on the Mauritania only Ultimate Iron Man. Oh, it's beautiful. We can now officially catch RuneScape's rarest impling. I've done a lot of research on lucky implings recently. In preparation for this moment, a seven month journey of lamping and 200 hours of hunter training later, and we can finally catch the key to beating the theater of blood. It's unfortunately not so simple though. 
When I say rarest impling, that is an understatement. While maxing my first Ultimate Iron Man, which took me about 7,000 hours of in-game time, I saw a total of two lucky implings. And that's not being restricted to one area of the game. I guarantee you most people haven't ever even seen one themselves. To give you some perspective, a YouTuber by the name of Karam took five months to find 50 of them. There are several things I'd like to see from Lucky Implings, but ultimately there's only one thing I actually need, and that's the Rune Crossbow. It's officially been calculated to a drop rate of 1 in 162 Lucky Implings. With hunting 12 hours a day, I think I could manage one Lucky Impling every 3 days or 36 hours of game time. So the Rune Crossbow would take me approximately a year and a half if I scouted completely alone, assuming I got it on drop rate. Rather than kill my entire YouTube channel for a virtual item, I've decided to engage Operation Lucky Imp Squad. I'm getting the community's help on this. I've created an organized Discord channel and funded entirely by the community's donations. We've put together a 1 billion GP bounty for whoever finds the impling that gives me the rune crossbow, as well as a 5 million GP reward for every impling scouted. With the community's help, we should be able to average approximately 4 lucky implings per day, meaning we should be done within one or two months. Although it was a ridiculously slow process to get here, this will be an extremely exhilarating grind. Spending several hours finding the rarest impling in the game, rolling a drop table with hundreds upon hundreds of items, a chance at some of the literal rarest items in the entire game, with the idea of potentially getting a third age or gilded piece always in the back of my mind, it's going to be exciting. I have literally never been more excited for a grind, and the possibilities are endless. The wish list. I've divided my wish list into a set of tiers. First up is the crossbow, obviously sitting in the S tier. It's our only way of beating the theater with these restrictions, and it's very clearly our top priority. Our A tier consists of four items, the god dehyde shield being the most sought after, but out of all the items on the A tier, the shield is definitely the rarest of them all. Sitting at a 1 in 8125 drop chance, it gives me an insanely good accuracy boost and a prayer boost. The three boots are all extremely good in their own ways, God Dehyde boots only being one range bonus less than Ranger boots but having one prayer bonus, and Manacles being my absolute best in slot boots, offering plus four strength bonus. But any one of these boots would be ridiculously good for our final challenge, all being better than my current rune boots. The rune kite shield. It slides right into B tier, being very helpful for the remaining 20 million melee experience I have to gain, along with the 10,000 plus gargoyles I still have to kill. The god cloak hits B tier as well, being our best cape, offering a prayer bonus and sitting at a 1 in 944 drop rate. Our final item ranked at D tier is teak planks. These would be ranked higher, but they're only truly useful if I manage to get manacles or rangers. I'll be able to upgrade my house with the teak planks in many different ways, but mainly I'll be able to store medium clue scroll uniques. So with that being said, we've got our wish list, and now we begin. After getting 99 Hunter, the search began, almost instantly. Several hours went by, three, four, five, and six, until... Well, we just had the first lucky impling call, and it's on a 2k total world, so I'm getting it on my main. Dragon Battle Axe, okay, if that was the crossbow, I probably would have cried myself to sleep tonight, so. It had been about nine hours of non-stop world hopping, and I was using two accounts and this map of hotspots. I mainly sat at the castle as well as the grotto. So I just got a random Twitter DM, which I don't, I, I like barely read them, and I just happened to look over, and someone called a lucky impling, and I just happened to see it. This is insane. What are the odds, man? This is going to be the first lucky impling. If I could catch it, please. There it is. Oh, thank you. I think, ah, oh, I think those coins. Probably the most boring loot you can get, but we just rolled several hundred items and we ended up getting coins. That's, uh, oh, we caught one. I can go to bed. We have got another one. This is the second one. I decided to make them hot pink just because they stand out so much on the map now. What? Um. Holy shit. 
Might just be the coolest item I could have possibly gotten. Oh my god, that is amazing. Day two went a lot better as we managed to already beat our personal best by scouting two implings in one day. All right, number three. Let's see it, man. Let's see it. Oh my god, I... Oh. I already got something on my wish list. Teak planks, baby. That is a one in 150, I believe. Wow, that is fantastic. Holy shit. That is already something off my wish list. On the third impling. I can actually already build the teak larder and the teak, dr I don't think I'll need a teak dresser to be fair, but I can build a lot of this stuff. Lucky imp number four. Fire lighters. <laughs> this is what the summer pies are insanely good for. All the hotspots are so far away that I never have run energy, so these are very good for restoring that. Alrighty, impling number five. Let's see what we get. Fire battle staff. Alrighty. We were averaging a one lucky impling about every four hours or so, which was pretty good. That is so that's so funny, man. Out of every scroll I could have gotten, it's the literal one that I can use. That's so- oh my god, that is so funny. Getting into double digits this is gonna be number 10, where the glasses for good luck. Oh my god, no. No, f oh my god. I actually got it. Holy shit, in 10 implings. I've gotten two items that I want in 10 implings. What the hell? Rune kite shield unlocked, holy shit. Oh man, I'm such a fan of this outfit. Like, it's weirdly really cute, but at the same time, I'm an absolute menace and I love it. Uh, this is gonna be really, really good for the gargoyles because uh, I'll have to manually smash them with the, with the rock hammer every time. So I'm definitely gonna miss some prayer flicks. It's just a great shield to have all around. Um, it's a really fantastic item to get. All right, this will be uh, lucky imp number 11, straight after the rune kite shield to see what we get. Oh, wow, these are some interesting loots, man. Th Lucky Implings are so fun, man. This is so freaking fun to do. Ooh, Dragon Mace. Is that my first elite roll? I don't actually know. If you're not sure how Lucky Imps work, basically there's five clue scroll tables that it can roll on. And when you catch a Lucky Impling, it first chooses which table to roll on. So it's a one in five to hit the elite table, and then it would be a one in 32.3 to actually hit the crossbow. So here I hit the elite table, but I missed the one in 32.3 to actually get the crossbow. Well, it's been a full week of Lucky Impling scouting. We're up to 24 in total, so we're a little over three a day. I'm currently scouting on my main, but I've decided it's finally time to get revenge on the vampires. Uh, Lucky Implings are actually way more effective at getting clue items than completing a medium clue, but I basically just want to complete one in this region to say I've done it. So uh, I also get two other things out the way, and that's farming supplies as well as XP. I'm currently 92k away from 77 attack, I'm gonna need maxed out melee stats for the theater. I might as well train while I uh, scout implings on my main. I think it's a really good way to do it, so. Oh, Dragonstone ring, that's another elite roll right there. That's another one in 32 shot. That's an interesting one. Um, looking pretty damn nice. Hey, 77 attack, first level down. Very nice. Black DI Japs, interesting. I'll actually keep those um, for now, just because I don't want my Carols to degrade. Hey, we got a second clue. That is a Mauritania step. Look at that. We've got two Mauritania steps on the ground. Nice. Very, very nice. Awesome. Yoink! Uh, rune legs, that's actually good. That's a uh, hard clue or elite, I want to say. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I could use those for vampires, I guess, so. All right, end of the night for me. We've got two Mauritania steps. Let's see if we get lucky. 
Unfortunately not. Number two. Oh, no luck. All right, well, that's the end of the night for me. Two steps completed. Hey, we just hit 78 attack. Getting up there, man. Getting up there. Got ourselves a lucky implant, fellas. A storable item. Wow. The first of its kind. That's cool. That's really, really cool. I can actually store that in my treasure chest that I built last episode. Let's go do that. That's awesome. All right, let's store this thing. So now any time in the future where I might need a pickaxe, I can just take it from here. What in the, what? I completely forgot that even existed. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is, uh, I can only store one scroll in here. So this doesn't actually save me any space. It's just, I don't know. It's such a weird item to get. Lucky inflicts are so fun, man. I'm still having, every single one is such an adrenaline rush. It's ridiculous. Holy, that is so many blood runes. That's actually really good. I'm going to keep those. Rude full helm. I can actually use that for vampires as well. I'm slowly getting a full gear set up. I've almost gotten the entire armor set from Lucky Implings. Just missing the plate body, which I can't even wear. All right, here we go. You're joking. You're actually joking. I literally... This was right after the full helm. I literally just mentioned... Oh my god. That's crazy, man. I can't even wear that because I need Dragon Slayer. That is really funny. <laughs> that is really funny. So here's what I'm going to do, my friend. Since I need to actually train my melee stats, uh, Abyssal Demons drop a rune chain body. So I might as well finish off my entire rune armor set, start looking at like the absolute machine that I know I can look like, and uh, we'll have a full gear setup for the rest of the melee grind. Hard clue scroll. Wow, I can actually do that. What are the odds, man? What are the odds that I can actually do a hard clue step? I wonder if I'll be able to do the next step, guys. It would be pretty funny. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen, but it is cool just to test it out, I guess. It could. Hey, look at that, man. 80 attack achieved. Oh, that's looking beautiful now. Hey, look at that rune chain body, man. That is our full rune set completed. Oh, monstrous. Look at it. How many of these am I gonna get, man? Could have been four crossbows at this point. So I caught an eclectic impling for some oak planks earlier and I wanted to build this bookcase because once we build this we now have access to a ton of different books. The one I'm looking for however is the collection log. There it is. So this has been tracking all of my lucky impling uniques from the 68 lucky implings I've caught. So we've got for example the black pickaxe. We've got two things from easy clues which is the bronze plate body trimmed. The black pickaxe again, I guess that that's shared. We've got one medium clue unique, which is the pantaloons. We've got no uniques from hard or elites, but we do also have the glasses from the masters. So this is just a cool little thing just to keep track of all of the unique items that I've gotten and the shared one. We've gotten one page, uh, some scrolls and firelighters and the master scroll book, which actually counts. So that's cool. Jeez, man, <laughs> how many? How freaking many? Five rings. Come over here. What the heck? A U combo. And 81 attack. Fabulous. 31 farming. The level I've been looking forward to, actually, believe it or not, because I can now grow all the strawberry seeds that I've been gathering. So that's really cool. Strawberries are going to be extremely sick XP. I'm finally starting to get into the farming on this account. Ever since I lost those seeds at Vampires, it had me demotivated. All right, let's wear the Snelm for good luck. Rune Pickaxe, hold on. Oh, I don't know if that's worth keeping for now. That would be really good for mining Addy Ore when I need bolts, but I don't think it's worth the inventory slot right now. That's a really good item in theory, but it's not worth the inventory slot. All right, here we go. 
Dragon necklace. Oh, so much Dragonstone jewelry. I think I've gotten all of it at this point. And uh, Dragonstone is all elite table rolls, I believe. And another one. Summer pies. Dude, I actually needed those. I was completely out, but to get them from a lucky impling is just funny. Wines of Zamrak. Those would be good if I didn't have access to Tarn's Lair. In Tarn's Lair, they drop one dose ranging potions, which is why I'm only going for 55 Herblore for the theater. So that really obscure drop saves me a lot of Herblore training, thankfully. Otherwise, I would have had to get 72. And here we go. Two very important farming levels back to back. 32. We can now grow all the Renars that I have, which uh, I lost like I don't even remember how many seeds last time I died, but that's really cool. I'll be able to make my own prayer potions. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold on. Did I just pick up the wrong one or... No, it is the exact same step on both of them. That's, uh... That's pretty cool, actually. Well, that's two more Tanya clues on the ground. They're both the same step. Wow. I have to grab this one super quickly because I have got some clue scrolls on the ground. Gnomish Firelighter, wow. I can't actually use it for anything, but uh, it seems my clue scrolls are still on the ground, so that's good. Um, that's another one for the collection log at the very least. Just got 82 attack, man, we are getting a lot of levels here. Palm Tree C, that is yet another elite roll. Man, I am feeling this crossbow soon. I really am, I'm feeling it, man. Oh, back-to-back -back elite table rolls, another dragon necklace, a humble 33 farming, very nice. Look at this, man, a dragon impling and a lucky impling right next to each other. Dragon longsword and an adamant dagger. I've gotten two of those back-to-back -back now. Imp just by the farming patch, that's convenient. Wow, that is a lot of oak planks. Holy sh- what the heck, man? That is so much XP as well. That's a bunch of free XP. And another attack level, 84 attack. I uh, gotta love it when they're trapped in the store, man. Magic longbow, that's interesting. I wonder if I could actually get any use out of a magic shortbow. I feel like it would be good for training. Magic shortbow would be cool, longbow is kind of useless. What the hell? I just talked about this. This is literally the next impling after the magic longbow. What the hell, man? That is, that is insane. 34 farming. Come on, man. Get over here. That's it. What is that? Wow. What the hell is that? That is impling number 102 right there. We've got ourselves a hood of darkness. That is a master clue unique. Damn, dude. I look terrifying. Look at the difference. Wholesome swamp, man. And then freaking bloodthirsty is gonna be number 107. See if we can get anything good. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! No way! No! <laughs> oh my! Yes! 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 Oh my god! 107 inflings. We've got an A tier item, dude. We've got ourselves an A tier freaking item. Beautiful! 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 That is freaking gorgeous, dude. Those are some damn good boots for the for the theater of blood. Shout out to uh, to Arcebo Hunt for scouting this out, man. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so so happy. All right, we've got all the runes. Let's teleport to our house. I wanted to uh, fix the Carol's top real quick so I could get the full look, but man, God, I feel like a freaking boy on Christmas, man. They even match my cape. I'm so, uh, I've said it so many times. But that is so relieving. Just to get something else, as well as eventually getting this crossbow, oh man. What a freaking way to end it.